So straight from the lab here, there's a small zoom in on the RK007 MIDI Commander Gizmo. Some people asked us already if we uh, wanted to do something special with the 007 number, and here it is. It's a uh, open source project, actually. It's based on Arduino Pro Micro and a yeah, some some easy to get parts on, on the internet. It's like this keypad and an OLED screen with the hair on it. And mini jack connector. All this stuff is easy to get from eBay. And um, well, we also added a small dial into it. Uh, just a pot meter, 10 case. And the instructions to build this all together are on our website as well as a STL file for printing this enclosure um, and it has a uh, well the mini jack is a actually a MIDI output and you can also just connect it on a computer via USB then it's also a USB MIDI device and um, well what does it do it, um, it sends out MIDI commands we have a keypad here and four modes uh, which you can use to send out different control values uh, mode A is for sending out program changes, B is for just testing notes, C is setting a MIDI channel, and D is setting the controller number controller number the dial will send out. Um, I've set up this here with uh, two uh, Roland boutiques on it. The D05 is set to MIDI channel 1, and the SH01 is set to MIDI channel 2. Now, um, this thing is currently set to MIDI channel 1, so if I turn this dial you'll see on the D5 the modulation will work um, also oh yeah another thing these hashtag and these star buttons are normally used to enter a value or cancel a value but if you're not entering any values this one is a start stop toggle for the tempo clock and this one is a uh, note panic so you can stop all notes currently playing on a device which may have hanging notes um, well let's demonstrate just setting a program change I'll um, play a sequence here oh wait I can play a sequence with this just start playing and it has uh, your one too but it's an empty pattern so you won't hear it um, now if I want to change the patch on this one I can just go to program change Press 1, and now it has changed the patch into uh, where's the exit button into the first one. If I press 2, enter, patch 2, 3, 4. Mm. Mm, let's see. This is nice and sweet. Okay, well, and now you're here that the controller will add some vibrato to it um, for the do 5 I'm not sure what kind of controllers are all there uh, so I'll just stop this and I'll switch to the SH01 on MIDI channel 2 I'll set here 2 yes so now when I send a test note I'll just go to mode B oh. yeah I hear a note a higher note note number 50 Let's put it up a bit. Note number 60. Okay, you'll also see now that when I dial it, you'll see that on the HH01, the controller will change. I'll um, add a little pattern to it. Some default thing which is on here. No. I've put down the modulation and now when I want to change the controller it sends out I just go to set dial controller with the D and I guess number 40 uh, number 74 will be brightness yeah it's brightness so now I can just change the filter frequency with this box if you want to go back to um, modulation I'll just tap in one again and now I can can use the modulation so um, the keypad stays in the mode you select here on the right until you select something else I'll stop the pattern there 
and um yeah that's about it again uh, links to this little project are on our website or google drive uh if you want to use it or change it to do something else i can also imagine you would like a system exclusive sandbox or whatever you can just download the code uh, change it to something else and um, yeah have your own type of fun with it so uh good luck and uh, I, I hope you like this little box bye bye